Hello and welcome in this video. I'm showing you here how to draw this dog eye with pastel pencils. It was a workshop I did some month ago and I'm showing you here a time lapse video and I'm explaining you the drawing process. So let's start. We are starting with the sketch. So I'm drawing the outlines here freehand with a black pit pastel pencil just um, doing the sketch freehand for practicing and training the eye. I'm mapping in all details. I can see all important lines here, the outline of the eye and I'm mapping in sketching in the fur in fur direction. So it's important that you also draw your fur in fur direction in your sketch. I'm using white here for the highlights and black then for the darker sections. Mapping in fur, just sketching in all important directions and now I'm plotting in black along the outline and the pupil and then I will blend it together using a paper stamp here, pushing the pigments into the paper. It's important that you avoid that your drawing surface is saturated too early. So always uh, push the pigments into the teeth of the paper. Then I'm starting uh, mapping in blues and blend them with a cotton swab. You can easily blend the layers together when you are working with pastels. Pastels are really a, a very good medium to blend and mix colors. You can easily smudge them and mix them. Here I'm mapping in orange and lighter oranges, darker oranges, burnt sienna and middle brown and sanguine. So I'm using shades of orange and browns and blend them together with the paper stamp again, mixing colors, creating smooth transitions. So let them uh, fade and then I'm adding black details with the black pastel pencils going over the outlines again and just um, adding details uh, which I can see on a reference photo. So draw what you see on your reference picture going in with browns and ochres adding some lighter orangey highlights and dots and little strokes with yellow or light orange. I'm also using light flesh. I love the light skin color from the pits for adding those orangey pinky details. And then I'm going in with white or light gray and adding some details, adding dots and strokes and all the little things you can see on your reference photo. And then uh, adding little clouds and again highlights in the iris, correcting some areas that are not correct or um, I'm always going over with darker colors and then again with lighter colors and so on, adding some details. Yes, so then let's work on the fur around the eye. So I'm doing a base layer with a cinnamon, a darker flesh color, blending it with the fingers and then mapping in fur in fur direction with the light skin. And then I'm going in with a black with a darker color and adding shadow areas adding lots of black strokes between uh, the lighter parts, mapping in white and ivory then, drawing in lots of light strokes, let them cross, let them overlap and go in different directions. So follow always the growth of the fur, the direction of the fur, adding again white and then brown and then again a lighter layer on top of it. Uh, and let's add again brown between the fur and brown strokes and working with black again and then adding some eyelashes here, the shadows between the eyelashes. Then we are drawing in here with white, with a very sharp white pastel pencils, the eyelashes and let them cross a little bit, overlap, go some go left, some go rightwards and 
Yes, then let's work here on the right side. Let's map in black, lots of black, blend it together with the finger. Also, I'm blending with the paper stamp. Then let's add cinnamon for the first base layer here. And uh, adding black details, Just drawing in the fur in fur direction, going over it with a white or a light gray, adding some lighter hairs, blend it here with a paper stamp, adding flesh color, little details or, or, or terracotta details and going in with different colors. Then uh, let's do here below the same process, mapping in a first layer with cinnamon and also a little bit of uh, terracotta, blend the layers together, adding strokes with black and mapping in fur in fur direction. Blend the first strokes with the paper stamp, pushing the paper in, uh, pushing the pigment into the paper. Then let's add a little bit of blue and all the little dots here uh, below the eye, along the eyelid. So it's really always important that you blend your layers, that you push the pigments between the teeth of the paper to avoid that the paper is saturated too early and then draw in layers and build up your portrait in uh, various layers and always, yes, you can build up your fur layer by layer. I'm starting with the mid-tone and then using the darker layers and the lighter layers on top. So here I'm adding the with a white another lighter layer and then going in with browns and oranges again very gently. Let's add again with white and another layer of fur. Let all the hairs cross and overlap go over and over again and let them go in different directions. Also then add black details again between to increase the contrast and to yes to uh, create a more realistic look going in and adding shadows again and some lighter hairs here on the right part and finally sign it. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the video. See you the next time and if you are interested in uh, more tutorials, you can also find the full tutorial of this dog eye in my membership Animal Art Club. Join the waiting list, you can find the link below for more information and to be informed in time when we open the doors the next time. See you soon, bye!